Hey YouTube, welcome to Sage Studios. Today we're going to be taking a look at the difference between a monitor controller and an audio interface. Stick around. So now here's just two examples of basic audio interface, and this is a really basic monitor controller. More or less we're going to talk about a bigger monitor controller, the Mackie, uh, Big Knob, this would be the, uh, the Studio Plus. So it has an interface built into it, so you might get confused as to why you'd need a monitor controller versus just a regular interface. Well, we're going to go into that. Now, first of all, the whole reason you need an interface is simply to take inputs from the real world, like your microphone, and convert it into something that your computer can read, and vice versa, you need to take audio from your computer and translate it out into outputs for the real world speakers to hear. So basically you have a D to A and then an A to D converter inside an interface. But an actual interface box is going to be dedicated to just that, taking the inputs and outputs through a computer. Whereas a monitor controller, it has one built in, but is built more or less as a convenience there for you. You know, it has a couple mic pre's built into it, but it's not going to be the same quality as a standalone unit, especially with just the converters. It'll get you by, it'll do a good job depending on what you're doing, but um, really you want a standalone interface. Interface is better if you're just doing something simple where you're just having, you know, one or two mic inputs and just have one set of speakers output, say if you're doing a podcast and you just want some good audio, that'll be fine. But if you're doing a little bit more or you have more or less a studio environment where you need to switch your different output sources, that's where you're going to have more benefits with a monitor controller. Because with this, all you have is just your main level outputs, and that's just one set of jacks on the back, and then your phones for a quarter inch. So, really, if you're going to have multiple sets of speakers, you want something that can do multiple sets. And like this one can output three different, um, to three different monitors at the same time, and also a studio out or aux out. So you can do a lot of different things if you have another like playroom or live room. Now one thing with interfaces that's a big benefit is you can get them with more inputs. Like this one for example is an older model. I have four line inputs here plus the two on the front. So you get a heck of a lot more IO and you get more outputs as well. So it's nice in that regard but if you don't need it um, a monitor controller might be fine if you just need to hear Spotify sounds and you just want to plug in a mic once in a while, it does have nice mic pre's, it will get the job done. Now one nice thing about a monitor controller is you have a nice big knob. So that way you can set it down your desk somewhere and have easy access to it and all the different controls and you don't have to worry about fiddling with tiny little knobs on the interface. Another thing is you also have the controls of dimming, muting, and monoing out your signal. So that's another big advantage if you're doing more of actual mixing stuff. It's helpful to have the mono especially to just right there have mono on a click of a button. You can do it in software easy enough, but if you can have a button for it, why not? Um, and mute and dim, nice. I usually have my setup so I always have it dimmed um, when I'm normally using the system, but then undim it, that's when it actually gets cranked up to full volume. So in closing, which one is really better? Well, there's no answer to that. They both serve different purposes. If you want something that you have a little more tactile control on the volume of your system and switching between different source inputs and source outputs, that's where a monitor controller is going to be nice. And some of them you can get with a interface built into them. So you can I.O. through the computer easy enough. But a dedicated interface, if you want something that has more or less better uh, preamps, better D to A converters, A to D converters, it's going to be way better off going with a standalone interface. It's going to serve you out better. And you can usually find ones with more inputs and outputs. So you can do a little bit of IO stuff. So you're not that limited. But um, yeah, they're pretty nice. The only thing is just you don't have as nice um, access to the volume and whatever. So that's going to be a bit of a pain. But you know, if you don't need to get to it that often, it's not that bad. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, got something out of it. Let me know down in the comments below which one you think is better. And with that, I'll see you guys later.